this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles, and today I've got something that maybe I shouldn't show you. It's going to be weird and wild and strange. Uh, we've got one, the, the noodle component came from uh, an exotic nudes box. Go to exoticnudes.com, use the coupon code the Ramen Raider to get a nice box of fancy noodles at a discount, and today I've got... Paldo lobster flavor. This is from South Korea. It's a big old bowl. And speaking of uh, lobster, I guess, we've got Stumpy from Arkansas. How you doing today, Stumpy? Hey! Hey. Well, what's going on? Oh! Stoked! I finished university, man. I'm done with school. So probably for just, a long time. That's it. I'm happy. I'm done. Yeah. Nice. My daughter Looking is happy. Looking forward to entering the job force, man. It's what? Looking forward to entering the job force. Yeah. My name is Mimi. Yeah, I'm gonna Mimi go work for a living. Mimi says hello. Her name is Mimi. You hear that? Mimi says hello. This is Mimi. Hello, Mimi. <laughs> She's very thrilled to be on the show. No, that's not Uncle Moshe. That's Stumpy from Arkansas. <laughs> and that's not Alexa. So you guys go play, and I'll show you what magical thing I've made in a little bit, okay? They're on their vacation too. They've uh, they've no school until the fourth of January, so it's party time. Oh, she, she'd rather have school. She's contending that she does have school. So so what's going? What are you gonna do? Well. I am filling out paperwork to get assistance to find a job, and I'm gonna go hang out at the uh, Arkansas Work Source Workforce. That sounds the source of work. Wow! And what are you gonna do? Are you gonna be a firefighter? Negative. Are you going to be a screener at a hospital? Negative. No. Why not? No. That's that's easy money. You just sit there. You don't have to have any qualification other than you can like point a stick at somebody's head. Can you point a stick at somebody's head? No. Well then, what a good are you? We're not gonna hire you for nothing. Oh, speaking of, nobody's gonna hire me unless I remember to do today's quote of the day. From the amazing magical tome, Momofuku Ando speaks the book of quotes from the guy who invented instant noodles. Today's is number... Uh, 124? All society, as well as employees... Watches how the CEO behaves. Sitting on the company president's chair is like bearing a cross. Ooh. That's insightful. It's, it's hard. It's not easy being green. And uh, it's even harder to be the CEO of a noodle company. So now you know the deal. So okay. now I'm going to impart to you people what the deal is today. I've used less than the standard amount of water for this noodle. So the noodle will be stronger in flavor. And you might be wondering, what's this about? This is a pack of eight Pillsbury Grand's biscuits. Hey. And, uh, you know, you know, you know. I'm gonna drain these noodles just just so I don't get thousands of people breathing down my neck although I don't I don't know I, I, I don't know 
right? Do you know, sir? Uh, you only know what you know. If you don't know it, then how are you gonna know? Truer words haven't been spoken. There we go. So we've got this lobster ramen. We're throwing in the seasoning sachet right now. Hey, Miles. Miles is informing me of his name. I was there. Mimi? Is your name Mimi? Excellent. I am thrilled. And you're a fairy princess. That's perfect. With boots? Oh, do you have your sparkle boots on? Well, where are they? Do you want them? Here, I'll give you your sparkle boots. Okay, but you're gonna have to put them on. Papa's doing his magical stuff right now, okay? Alright. So she's gonna put on her magical sparkle boots. And what I'm gonna do is tantamount to I don't know what. So let's open up these biscuits and let the debauchery begin. This is literally something I've never done before. This has been sitting in our fridge for a little while. It is still good, but uh, I figured, you know, probably should do something with these biscuits. They were going to be, what, what was she going to make? Garlic Parmesan knots? But it just didn't end up happening. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, I don't know if this is going to work out, dude. What do they say? Go big or go broke? Or go home? Go or big go or go somewhere. home? I don't know where yeah. I'm going. <laughs> Possibly. Well, if there's hell below, we're all gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna try rolling this out a little flat. And then I'm gonna put a lobster ball in the middle. And then I'm gonna take some of this, see how this lobster noodle is. The first day of winter, I thought on the first day of winter, nothing like a biscuit with a lobster ball and and lobster noodle. I don't think the true love gave that to anybody. No. By the way, it hasn't happened to be Christmas yet, so. A little bit of noodle. Right. Now we're going to try to wrap this up. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have any luck doing so. Come on. I have a feeling the first few are going to be really hard to make happen, and then it's going to kind of come together. I'm going to get the mojo of this. Uh, maybe. Maybe. They don't want to stick together, dude. Yeah, they're tricky. Well, it's not about being tricky. They don't want to stick together. Do you have to shape them into triangles or rectangles? Or what are you talking about? I'm making balls, dude. So round? All right. <laughs> yeah, round, dude. That's not a triangle or a rectangle. Oh, okay, Mimi. Hold on. Now I'm going to spray the sheet, and I probably should just spray this cutting board, too. Now I'm going to roll it in this, uh, this fried onion. Yeah, this fried onion. Fried onion. They're one of our balls. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to... There we go. Yeah, the first one wanted to stick. I got to make eight of these? Mimi. One, two, three, calm. Okay, so there's the first one. 
Now, I think what I learned from my first is that I need to roll it thinner. Yeah. So let's roll it nice and thin. Let go of the rolling pin, please. Oh, come on. Uh. Yeah, this is not gingerbread. This is noodle. Noodle magic from yours truly. The ramen raisin. Here come the noodles. Here comes the noodles. Alright, that might be too much noodle. Too much noodle. Oh yeah, that's freaking way too much noodle. Way too much noodle. Uh, okay. It's it's pretty good. Okay. It's pretty tasty. I like these noodles. I'm gonna go roll it. Is it not spicy? It's spicy. It's a spicy lobster noodle. So mm. the noodles are being rolled into the lobster balls. Is that what's going on? What? You're out of your element. Hold on. You're out of your element. You just graduate. Wait, did you just graduate from the university? <laughs> what happened? What happened? What kind of grades did you get? Or is that a, a topic not of discussion? Topic not of discussion at the moment. Okay. Well, in the future, good old Stumpy from Arkansas will disclose that information. But for now, we'll just leave it be. We'll let it. I wonder if I just go like this. Oh, this might work better. Oh, now it's probably like completely stuck to this, isn't it? No, 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 no. I think the palm of my dirty hand may, might be the best bet here. There's our ball in the middle. <laughs> Grab some noodles. <laughs> okay. I don't know what this is, Miles. This is this is playing with food with the ramen raider. Um, what 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 do you have? Uh, no, this didn't work at all. We'll see what happens here. This could be the greatest new thing ever, but I know it's not gonna be. That's not very optimistic. Well. You know, when you set your sights low, and your expectations even low, god damn it, even lower than you, uh, you, you're destined to win if, you, if you're hoping to lose. No, close the gate and get out. Thank you. <laughs> the hot stuff in the kitchen. This is a very oh. important thing. I'm making Christmas right now. I'm making Christmas. It needs to be closed right now. Okay, now I we have- I think you're speaking from the counterintuitive anti-logic book of ancients there. That's a wise saying. What is? God, I've only <laughs> made know. three of these. See, people always tell me things like, dude, you should open up a ramen restaurant and stuff. It's just like, I'd be like 10 minutes in. It's like, wait, how much more of this crap do I got to do? That's my thing. It's like, I'm, I'm good. You know, I like the variedness of what I do. But I don't want to do it all day, you know. I, I spend a lot of time on noodles, but I spend a lot of time on different aspect of the noodling and if I spent all day on it I would go nuts especially if I had to spend all day every day and deal with the fact that I had a uh, a restaurant no 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 let other people do that I like to make one bowl of stuff and call it good 
you know? I think my ideal food service job would be working the fryer at any given restaurant and just like throwing in like, you know, zucchini or chicken wings or french fries or just whatever into the fryer. I think I'd do good there. You know, I Fry think station. that's a pretty easy to get job. Maybe you could do that. You should tell them that your aspirations are to fry food. Yeah. I, th I think I think you're probably have the skills. You could say I just semi graduated from college and <laughs> I'm really looking for a new career and that career is frying foods for people. And you would be set. I want to see the joy on people's faces. Yeah, right. that's it. Refreshing you get a lot of joy. Food. A lot yeah. of joy. Especially when they're like, My food isn't cooked all the way. My hamster doesn't have any bedding. You know, all that kind of crap. So. My hamster doesn't have any It doesn't. Bedding. Your hamster doesn't have any bedding. <laughs> and it's just kind of the, kind of the deal. Yeah. All right. Halfway mark. Halfway mark. I'm going to have a sip of my beverage in... Quiet celebratory affirmation of my my what I did. A little more what cooking. What you're doing as a news story? How would it be announced on the news? God of Ramen uh, does this thing. The God of Ramen, who likes to be referred to simply by friends as The, today made a brand new food discovery, and this thing will be the new viral food. Taking biscuits, stuffing them with Singaporean fish balls, a little bit of lobster noodle, and a lot of love. I don't know. You guys have those bayonet things there? There's quite a headline there. They're chocolate. They're like little chocolate donut things, I think. I think they're like hush puppies, but they're chocolate. I don't know. You guys have hush puppies there, right? Hush puppies, yeah. Yeah, they go with catfish. There really you go. Good. Yeah. Okay, so during this, I've learned that you start it on one end, you roll it up, and it still doesn't work out all that well. Oh, God. This is like the worst one yet. You could pinch it in the four corners and make it kind of look like a... A, a big, wonton? No. Like a big freaking mess. That's what it looks like. I don't even know if this is going to cook correctly. I don't... Are you talking about a dumpling? Like a lobster no, dumpling? No, dude. I've got biscuits. I'm wrapping these oh, things biscuits. in biscuits, yeah. Okay, I got you. And I got these little biscuity biscuits, and I think what's probably going to happen is they're just going to explode. Oh, wow. I, I really don't know what's going to happen. There's nothing liquid in them, so... Nothing liquid, nothing perishable. Well, nothing liquid. So will they be browning in the oven? Is that the goal? No, I'm going to put them outside on the deck so they can get rained on first. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to bake them in the oven. <laughs> Let's get back to those grades you got in uh, at the university. Or wait, no, that, we, that wasn't a university. That. You're, trying to, you're trying to prop yourself up here, Chachi. That wasn't a university, was it? Was it? Uh, it was a technical college. Okay, that's like, a little different, I think. Yeah. A little. People are going to be like, you're only just putting a little bit of that noodle on there. Why are you calling this a instant noodle recipe time? Because there's really not a lot of noodle. Shut up. If that's you, just shut it. I, I could be using two of these biscuits, but I figure using one will yield the best results 
Hey, that worked a little better too. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll, kids. Tuck and roll. Okay, and pinch. Pinch it off. Don't forget to pinch it off. Yeah, you know what? I would do absolutely horrible as a dim sum chef because these are like as imperfect. Dim something else. Yeah, dim something else. My aunt was telling us how she got uh, Dim Tai Fung, which is like a pretty good place for dim sum. But uh, in the COVID, you can only get it, you know, like takeout. And she's like, yeah, takeout dim sum, not as good. Ooh, I'm getting there, dude. Is there only one left? Oh, there's freaking two left. I don't want to do this anymore. See, I can't, I can't. I can't, like, do a lot of one thing. And why should Apparently, I have to? When, uh, God, wrong. When you're talking uh, to people out and about around here in the South, yeah, and they talk about, like, friends and relatives, they go, oh, they got the COVID. <laughs> yes. Why do they do that? Is that, do they all get the COVID? Billy Bob, yeah, he's got a touch of the COVID. A touch? Yeah. A how much is it? Is that not how you get it? Or is it a sneeze of the COVID? Just a uh, little sneeze of the disease. It would be the transfer of of uh, of what they call sputum out of your face into somebody else's face. Oh, transfer. sputum. Stumpy illuminates the issue with the terminology. Yeah. Vocab is nine-tenths of the Oh, nothing. no! Come on, come on, come on. I need absolute silence now. Oh, God. Come on, come on. It's like wet chewing gum. Uh, I think this is one is going to be our, like... It just didn't work, one. Maybe they're getting too warm. Maybe there's too much grease on this. I don't know. This one, this one did not work. Too much noodle? I don't know. But I will say, it's going in the trash. Because I just don't care. That one is the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, that one. Now I'm going to try one where I just, like, stuff the hell out of it. I, I don't think it's going to work, but you never know. I'm just going to push it right down in the middle. Take a noodle. Just take any old noodle, ladies and gentlemen. Just put it right there. I mean, I guess kind of the idea is it would be, they would be kind of like lobster cakes or like, or like a lobster bake thing but it's fishball I don't know I'm, I'm really just winging it I figured this might be kind of fun to do but now I'm getting really sick of rolling these things up but this is the last one maybe leave a little noodle out at the top so it'll get crisp we'll see how that works but this is all just like a little literal complete experiment by yours truly the ramen right we'll put an extra extra onion on this one There we, there we are. Okay. Now, the question is, how long do I bake this crap for? Generally, if it's like biscuits, it's 20 to 30 minutes. <sighs> you, you know, 30, 30 generally, five, generally. Hey, kids, look. Look what your old man did. Look at this. Whoa! Biscuits. Biscuits. All right, here we go. They're going in the... Ow! Yeah, they're kind of in there. And, uh... <laughs> we'll see how this one works. 
I don't, I really don't think it's gonna go so well. One option would be basting the biscuits with butter until it gets to a golden brown. Yeah, why don't you baste your biscuits, Chachi? I'm I'm done with that. <laughs> hey, zip it! We're being terrorists. At least I got the lobster noodles. Yeah. Mmm. Something turned out. Yeah. I got lobster noodles. I really don't want to eat all these lobster noodles, but. How's the taste? It's good. Spicy. Mmm. Children are making horrible noises. I'm going to set this for 11 minutes. So. I'm not gonna kill you guys with waiting. Hey! But uh yeah, I think I think I'll just let it go. It's got eleven minutes at three seventy five, then I'm gonna look in there. Hmm. It's pretty good, Snappy. These noodles? Once again, they came out of an Exotic Nudes subscription box. Go to ExoticNudes.com. Use the coupon code the Ramen Raider for a discount. That's one word, by the way. That's not a sentence. Hmm. All right. It's going to be like time didn't pass for you. Don't be afraid. Time did pass. Ooh, I got all these onions left over. But uh yeah. It'll 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 all of a sudden go click and I'll be back, but it'll be eleven minutes later. Very well. And that's okay. You're not actually experiencing any temporal displacement. So, I'm gonna go organize my used plastic bag collection and I'll be right back. Alright, so uh, I dug through the trash and found the instruction. It said it was like only supposed to be 11 to 15 minutes. So, I'm going with that they're done. So, let's... Uh, grab it. Are you ready, old stumpy old pal? I am waiting with bated breath. Wow, we look at that. They're all biscuity. Look at those biscuity biscuits. Crap. Okay. Let's arrange them. Holy. They're hot, too. Whoa. Oi! Yeesh! Yeesh! Yow! Okay. They look the part. They look like they're supposed to look, I think. It looks like they stuck, stayed together. I'm, I'm impressed. Let's put this here. Put them on top. Look at that. It's a platter of biscuits that are now rotating. What do you think of that, Stumpy? I think that is incredible. You can't even see it though, correct? Correct, but it sounds incredible. Yes. 
Yes, it does. All right, well, we'll take the glamour shots and uh, come back and give them a try. So, again, this, you're not going and having some kind of fugue state. You're not having a seizure. Uh, this is just going to, like, go away and come back. You didn't miss any of your life. Uh, your collection of used plastic bags is just fine. So, we'll just hold on. But am I frozen in carbonite? Yes. All right, so the beauty glamour shots have been taken, and we're about to embark on the flavor journey. That is uh, these weird uh, lobstery biscuit deal things. What are you doing up there? <laughs> hey, what's going on with you, man? You know, we're recording a show right now, so you can, like, take your friends and stuff them. <laughs> Very unprofessional. Are you talking to your upstairs up? neighbor? Ladies and gentlemen, Stumpy uh, ended up... Things happen because of Stumpy and his upstairs neighbor, so this may be a, a real breakthrough. <laughs> Sounds as if he's having a good old time. I'm having a good old time with the neighbors. More than one neighbor I talk to. Alright, so now I'm going to cut one of these in half and see what it looks like. So we got right. some of them, like this one. Peeking out a little bit. Looking at you. This one, this one's perfect. This one is actually totally perfect. So this is the one I want to do. Um, let's slice it right down the middle. And so here's what the center looks like. There's your fish ball in the middle. Look at that. Wow. Ooh, and it's hot. Oh yeah, it's like frickin' molten. I'm gonna let it sit for a second. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this kind of experimentation is what makes the show possible uh, in some way. I don't know. It keeps me sane. It's like something weird to do. And I like doing weird things. So. Let's give this a try. Wow. That's compelling. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. The moisture from the fish ball definitely interacted with the dough in the middle so it's a little doughier in the center but the outside is nice and crisp I would say instead of using all the fish balls use half half a fish ball in each one then you can get more noodle in and more of that flavor leave the light alone please okay they said okay. Yeah, this, this, I've eaten more, I've eaten things that are way more horrible. Let me put it that way. Yeah. That's a big box. So it looks like Stumpy is drifting in his uh, ability to pay attention to the program. I'm paying attention, sir. What was that yelling in the background? I don't know. Oh. I was investigating the uh, Amazon vehicle. There was an Amazon delivery. Ah. And I thought uh, I was getting a package, but apparently not. I'm not getting a package. No. Oh, yeah. 
You should ask dude what he thinks of the of the recipe. Tell impart to him the recipe and ask him if he would eat yeah. it. So what do you think about lobster rolls with lobster rolls? No, there is no such thing as a lobster roll, it's a lobster ball. Oh. It's biscuits with lobster balls. <laughs> Oh yeah. How was your hunting? Did you get some venison? Here's one that opened up. V venison. Yeah, we can't even we can't even hear, dude. You, you you're like you're drifting. So we're gonna let go of Stumpy now. He's uh, gone rogue, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm going to tell you, these aren't bad. You could probably use a different kind of noodle, different kind of ball. Basically, you just stuff biscuits probably with anything, and there's probably many things that are better than this, but this was kind of fun. So yeah, now you know. And hey, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Hey, if you're watching at this point, go into the comments and say... I am a true winner and beautiful champion because you've watched this entire video. Alright, have a good one. Bye-bye.